It's sweater weather o'clock, rise and shine! Whoa, it's a bit too early for Christmas miracles! We're all here because we love cool tricks, but let's take it back a notch! That's better! Now let's learn some DIY hacks to spice up your winter! Yes, using paper instead of plastic bags is great, but you know what else is great? Functionality! Poor Chris! Looks like her desire to bake an apple pie slipped out, just like the apples that fell out of her bag. Uh-oh, I think I know this smile. Grab a sweater you plan to never wear again and turn it inside out. First thing you need to do is cut off the sleeves following the seam. Next, do the same with the sweater's collar. Perfect! Now you're ready to sew the bottom of the sweater together. And you're left with a DIY tear-free bag that will protect all your groceries from falling out. Who knew that it would take such a quick life hack to make Chris enthusiastic about cooking again? Looks like the apple pie is happening after all! I made this work of art all by myself and now I deserve to buy myself a new sweater! <laughs> School is a place where you want to stand out, show your originality. But what can you do if your idea of originality is someone else's too? You're risking looking like a copycat, which is sometimes worse than getting a detention. Oops, awkward! I'd rather get caught cheating on a test than wearing matching shirts. Shoot, now Gina is not going to be friends with me. There's gotta be something I can do. A lace ribbon from art class? <gasps> you just gave me an idea. Take the shirt you want to give a makeover to. You will need fabric glue, your ribbon, and other decor elements you can find in your drawer. Now, get creative! Ta-da! You've got yourself a whole new shirt! Whoa, Sophie, did you do this yourself? It looks so original! Yep, no more matching shirts! Friendship wins! Hooray! And get back to algebra! If you're anything like Gina, then you'll know that awful feeling when you're reaching to kiss Timothy Chalamet in your dream, but get cold feet. Pun intended. You can try to fix the situation with a pair of socks. Or two. Or three. Oh, why not just put on a whole family of socks on your feet? Ugh, great! Now I can't feel my feet at all! If only I didn't wake up, Timothy and I would already be... Wait! Hello there, mister! I think you're going to be useful! Off with their sleeves! Well, one sleeve is enough for now. Next, cut out your footprint from a piece of A4 paper and then out of the sweater. Now take a needle and some thick white yarn and sew together the sole with the sleeve. You've just got yourself a pair of socks so warm you'll never want to take them off. Come to mama, my savior socks. I'm ready for my sleep and I'm ready for you, Timothy. Now, where did we end up? When your favorite show is about to start, you've got to be fully prepared with a cup of tea. Ouch! Owie! Oh, oven glove. What? Come here, you naughty mug! Oh, big mistake, big mistake! Oh, come on, I've got no more tricks up my sleeve! Oh, sleeves! I know what to do! Lay your sweater down on a flat surface. Take your good old scissors and make two cuts on the sleeves like so. Can you guess the next step? Put it on your mug! And that's it! Simplest life hack you can imagine, right? 
I don't need a sweater when I can have a warm cup of tea under a blanket. <sighs> Cough. Typical symptom of school overload. Or, you know, cold weather. It's hard to focus on your studies when the scarf your mother tied around your neck keeps falling on your books. Class is over! But not your long scarf problem, Sophie. Not them. Oh, really? First I can't study because of you and now I can't go to lunch? Oh. Hey, Sophie, are you all right? Do I look all right? This stupid scarf is so long I'm like a dog on a leash. Okay, breathe. We'll think of something. Wait, I know what to do. Wait here, okay? Now this life hack is a bit more challenging. Tuck in the collar of your sweater. Now cross the sides of the sweater diagonally. Using a sewing machine, stitch the opening together. And voila! You turned your sweater into a hooded scarf. Gina Gina, every girl needs a friend like you. Ta-da! So, do you like it? Now it's going to keep your head and ears warm too. And it won't fall on your books or anything. <gasps> Whoa, Gina, I love it! Thank you, thank you, thank you! What would I do without you? And just like that, an old sweater can transform into a stylish hat scarf one piece. What more could you ask for? What's taking him so long? Chris, you were on the phone with him three times today. Give the poor guy some time to miss you. Or not. Date? Yes, 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 yes! Dress? Ready. Shoes? Ready. Lips? Mwah. Ready. Stylish coat, ready, last touches. Huh? I can't go on a date in a boring hat. Help Chris choose her armor to fight the cold in style. Hmm, cute, I like it, but I think I can do better. And I know exactly what I need. Chris, who would have thought that a date invitation can spark so much creativity in you? Take a hat you're willing to give an upgrade to. Now, take rhinestones which you want to decorate with. Sew or glue them on your hat. And you're done! Ah, I look fabulous! And I can brag about how good I am with my hands! <laughs> Oh, hello there, Gina. Someone's in a good mood? So happy school finished early. I finally have time to play some Fortnite. Oh, shoot! Not my new pair of socks. How am I going to explain to my mom that I ripped my socks after one day? Or I can make something cooler than socks out of them. <laughs> Take a pair of long socks. Boop boop. Now cut off the part that goes over the toes and voila! You've just transformed socks into a pair of stylish gloves. Oh my, is it just me? Or did Gina get a serious boost of confidence? High five, girlfriend! Whoa, is this the newest trend? Did you see her gloves? I never saw ones like that before! I want a pair too! Now these gloves are head turners. Chris finally stopped being a couch potato and wants to start a new life of health and fitness. Huh? Last time I wore those sweatpants to do sports was before quarantine. How can I be motivated to start a new life if I'm wearing baggy old pants? I look like I'm wearing a potato sack. But if Chris decided to commit, she will find a way to do it and nothing will stop her. For this DIY hack, you will need a long sleeve shirt. Cut through the middle and then right through the middle of the top bit. Turn the two part sleeves down like so. Sew them together on both sides. Chris, you don't stop surprising me with your inventiveness. No one would ever guess that these cool pants were once a long sleeve shirt. Oh yes, now that's what I call a stylish fashion DIY upgrade. Sophie likes pop music, pizza and keeping her ears warm. But what Sophie doesn't like is seeing her hairstyle efforts go to waste. Oh man! 
honestly, sometimes I wish I was bold. I need my dose of Harry Styles, he'll take my problems away. Wait, that's genius! For this life hack, you will need a piece of soft black paper. Cut out two circles, these will cover your ears. Next, take a plain headband and two fuzzies of any color you like. Now, glue them to the earpieces and then onto the headband. Ta-da! And just like that, your ears stay warm and your hairstyle is protected. Uh-oh, someone looks like the DIY star of the class. No way! Ear muffs? How did you make them? Can I try them on? Yeah, right! It's my little secret, mine and Harry's. We've got no secrets from you, Blimeans. We are here to give you all the tips and tricks that are gonna make your lives easier and more exciting. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on DIYing!